All right, we'll begin again with the uh, unsettling, unsettling sounds, heavenly music. This is a M U N S I C Heavenly Music. This was our first lesson in our series Words of the Master Jesus. This was series one oh three and this was lesson zero zero one, which we're considering in our study. Um we talked about Jesus as a seed having to die, or we as a seed having to die. Uh, Jesus to a resurrection, we to a new life. And we said the seed never sees the tree, just like we would never see God in our human form. That's why we move from human to the spirit. That means death of the human self, birth of the spirit. And of course we know later on there's going to be death of the human self too. Because we only have a finite time to be here on earth. And then Jesus was not interested in reproducing humans. He was not interested in that form of reproduction. He was interested in reproducing spirits. As you can see. And he wanted to re reproduce them on, this is the, we could call this the spiritual plane. And this is the human plane. We do this kind of reproduction. You don't need a Jesus for that. P-L-A-N-E. You don't need a Jesus to reproduce on the human plane. You need a Jesus to reproduce on the spiritual plane. And of course, as we have said, let's do our horizontal and vertical axis. You're very familiar with it. But I'm going to do it a little bit different than we have in the past. We still want to use this as the chronological scale of a continuum leading from birth to death and we certainly want to use this as our vertical continuum leading from new life or should we say yes new life new life in the spirit and we all will have to go through it it's the kind of existence that we all are seeking as we seek to know God here. Because otherwise we're going to move on this continuum and when we cross over on the other side, something has to happen. So Jesus was interested in having God descend into our physical being And having him ascend into our spiritual being. And this is very important to Jesus. On the physical plane, uh, over here, we have all kinds of things going on on the physical plane. This is where children... born. We also, this is where our bodies are on the physical plane. And again, God descends D E S C E N D into the physical plane, into, into the abode, I, I call it abode, our bodies, 
on the spiritual plane. A B O D E S and we become disciples. Both in the flesh and in the spirit or souls. You want to think about it from that point of their point of view. And it's very interesting how uh, Jesus had this effect to to transform us as on this plane. He had the touch. And the people that he was touching were ordinary people. These were ordinary people. And we'll talk about why in a few minutes. Why he descended on ordinary people. So we can look on this side of the equation and we can very easily see that his goal was to to allow ordinary people ordinary people to ascend into the spirit and there was a reason for that because uh, well it just asked the question why the Lois why the Lois why was God more interested in the lowest? Let's just put the question out here. Why the lowest? Why the carpenters, fishermen, tax collectors, publicists, prostitutes? Why? Well, there was a number of reasons. Let's begin by saying, for one, they were, there was some purity of heart. Another reason is that there was more love available. More love. There was more love available from a poor person than it was from a rich person. His path, Jesus' path, was a path of love. As opposed to force or as opposed to resources. Um, there certainly was more love than money. And when you take a look at that, you will begin to see how difficult it is for a person with money uh, to share. Uh, it's hard for a person, uh, you know, uh, when you got more love, you're willing to share more. Uh, but the rich, they worry about keeping money. They worry about the money. Uh, they certainly worry about sharing their riches because if they did that, in generous amounts, they wouldn't have it. And they usually substitute. Money becomes a substitute for love. You know, S S U B S T I T U T E, substitute for love. Also, they feel like, uh, to a certain extent, that money can buy anything. And, of course, we know that's not true. But Jesus was in the business of transformation. He was in the business of transforming uh, ordinary stones ordinary stones into diamonds. 
That's what Jesus was about. And we can kind of give you a little representation here of just ordinary stones. And we'll make them a little colorful. But these are just ordinary stones. But he was, in, he was about taking these ordinary stones and turning them into diamonds. So we'll These were very ordinary stones, but all of a sudden, they became diamonds. That's what Jesus was about. So he took these ordinary stones. And ordinary stones were people, ordinary people, that he found along the way, that he met along the way, that he sought along the way. He was about turning metal, In, into go. That's what Jesus is about. Again, we've taken our cue and ordinary metal. And when he was done with this ordinary metal, it was go. And ordinary metal was human beings. And this is what Jesus was about. And so we can see in uh, looking back over where we've come, we can, we can see in our lesson that Jesus was very, very interested in the Spirit. He was interested in reproducing at that level. And as we can see in our horizontal and vertical plane, God ascended, descended, and as a result of touching the life, the abodes, touching the body, Jesus, in the form of Jesus as a passage, we were able to ascend. Into the spirit. And because we're able to us ascend into the Spirit, get to know the Spirit, become aware of our Spirit, we become aware of God. More in the next lesson.